Hey there internet, I'm here with Chef Nui and we're gonna do another sushi roll. What are we making? So we do again, we have to follow the uh, coming customer order. So I'm gonna make four roll at the same time. Wow. So you're gonna learn today how to make four rolls at once. What are the four different rolls that we're tackling today? So we have a uh, Philadelphia roll is the... Oh yeah. That's the name come from the Philadelphia because the uh, they use the uh, Philadelphia cheese, cream cheese, mm -hmm. yeah, come from the Philadelphia. And salmon and avocado. And another one. Uh, That's my order. favorite roll, by the way, the yeah. salmon and avocado. And Talking another about. one, they also order regular uh, salmon and avocado. Mm. And uh, chili blossom. And also, yeah, another one is uh, rocket roll inside with the uh, unagi and avocado. Wow. Yeah, that's a uh, regular low. Regular small low, and uh, every single restaurant they have uh, this kind of low. So, again, this technique of you don't want to put it all flat, you want a little bit on the outside that's bigger, yes. and in the middle, really flat. So, it's kind of a curve shape. Big so, getting ready. Uh, yep. Yeah, it's coming then. A couple minutes if you want to watch basketball over here. Okay. Take a seat. I'll let you work real quick with this one. I'm not, we're not going to get into too much detail in the tutorial because we, we're in a time situation. We got the guy here. Yeah. But again, we're putting the uh, fish balls down on one of them. I'll try and do my best commentary that I can. <laughs> like just uh, like the basketball. One, uh, hello, yes. <laughs> and this one we make a chili boss. Mm. So I'm gonna go with the low on the top first. So I tell you the thing is uh, why we have we need to have the plastic flap outside of the fish mm. because of the every single time when the fish uh, touch the air, it have the oxygen. Mm, contaminants. And oxygen is the make the bacteria grow up fast mm -hmm. every single minute when the fish touch the air the taste is going to change all the time so interesting so always if you're doing this at home always wrap it with some plastic wrap if you're yeah. not going to finish making your sushi you're going to break up your sushi over two days mm -hmm. just wrap it put it in your fridge or put it out yes. uh, but make sure you wrap it because the oxygen is the biggest factor and you know, the interesting thing is same with beer uh, uh -huh. the beer companies if you get the beer in the bottle, mm -hmm. there's a little bit of oxygen in the bottle. They say canned beer is the best because mm -hmm. no oxygen. Correct. Yes. Same thing. But everyone thinks bottled beer is better for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. People tend to think it and they, they don't know. But I learned that my hometown, mm -hmm. uh, Stratford, Connecticut, we got an amazing brewery there, two mm -hmm. roads. I went on mm -hmm. the tour and I learned so much about it. This one we put cheese. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I've never been a huge fan of the Philadelphia roll. It's just weird the cheese mixed with it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not a big fan, but I love the avocado. Yeah. Everything have put avocado. Yep. And again, it's all about putting an even amount. If you watch the other videos, you're gonna learn this. We're now at a more advanced stage. We're going a lot quicker. But basically, what you're seeing here is exactly what it's like in the day in the life of a chef in a sushi restaurant and what you need to be able to do. And you really want to have the balance with it. You don't want to put too much avocado on one side or the other. It needs to be an even amount so when you roll it, Correct. it will come out perfect. And every single bite of sushi is supposed to have the same taste. Same taste is mean it have the same amount of the avocado, uh, salmon, same amount of the unagi, avocado, something like that. 
every single byte of the cup mm. load have to be same case. I was wondering, you heated that up, so if you watched the last video, he was getting ready for this roll by heating that one up. That's unaki. What is unaki exactly? Uh, fresh water eel. Mmm, the eel, yeah. Barbecue. Yeah. And then this is tuna? Tuna, yes. I need tuna. Just like salivating watching him make this right now. So you put the plastic around it so make it a little bit easier to cut. And you make a square here. You don't want it to be circular, you want it to be square shaped when you cut. So this kind of uh, makisu mat, this one. Uh, they are plastic, they're not sticky anymore, so you can use every single kind of. You buy only one, that's enough. You can put everything. I have one of these at home and I'm gonna make use of it now. Now that I know how to use it. <laughs> mm. Sushi is one of these things where I think a lot of people are intimidated by making this at home. And what I think you're doing is you're teaching so many people right now and giving them the confidence that they can try it. Because it's really not that hard now that you, you see it up close and personal. Yeah. You might need the special knife. Just oh, double time, you cut them both at the same time. It saves yeah. a little bit of time. This one, uh, salmon avocado. And when you put cream cheese, we call another one is uh, Philly Low. Philadelphia Low. Yes, sir. Different name, just we add the uh, cream cheese. Yes? Uh, we want to order. Take, take out? Yeah. Uh, one second. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little short after that. If you guys want to take a seat, I'll pour you some water. So this one you cannot put together, so you have to cut in middle. Mm. Then if you are first time cut, so just cut half again, cut half again, and cut half. It's an easy way. Then the shape change, so you reshape oh, again. Reshape it after you cut it. Fascinating. So that's how you make four rolls super quick. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button to stay up to date on the latest uh, sushi uh, tutorials. And uh, we're gonna make another roll soon.